Some people say size matters, and while I doubt that's true, it sounds more like a myth to me. In the photography world, it's actually the opposite. Smaller the better. We might have a little battle on our hands, my friend. What is the smallest, lightest tripod? It was this. Could be this now. Is it worth it, though? There's cons. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So right now, the tripod to beat, in my opinion, is the Ulanzi and Komen. Super lightweight, carbon fiber, quick release head. I have a video coming on why you should only buy Ulanzi everything, including cameras and lenses. They're coming. So this thing is fantastic. It's the one I use whenever I go out. And I have another one that's not a quick release head. That annoys me to the depths of my soul, but whatever. For in here and on the road, this is the one I bring. But when Freewell reached out to me saying, hey, we got something new, it's even lighter and smaller. I was like, really? How much? How much does that weigh? The Ulanzi weighs 11, 11 grams. Huh? That's magic. We're all one. This, 818. I was like, really? Okay, let's try it out. That's light. So I just want to show you the major differences between these. They're both almost identical height. Pretty much 16.5 inches. When you extend them to their maximum, let's just do a speed test because the Ulanzi has the flippers. You pull out, boom, and then flip each one back, whereas this is a twisty. So let's see which takes longer to assemble. Is he still going? Oh, that is embarrassing. Look at him. Oh, he's so ugly too. So if speed is your ultimate concern and you have to be up and running quick, there's grizzly bears chasing you, you need to get that shot. Free will is gonna set up quicker and break down quicker. This, a little taller as you're noticing. This is two and a half inches taller, 62 inches, 59 and a half. Now what I love about the Ulanzi system, it's the little quick release plates. I always have them on all my cameras. And when I wanna be on, we're done. My shoulder cracked. So it's like, cool. The head can't do much other than slowly pan around. This one's a little more versatile, but so we quick release off there. You are over here next to my fireplace now. It's real. Oh, you stabby wooden chair. Okay, all right, moving on along, keep the composure. So this is not a quick release, but it should fit the head. However, it's not a perfect fit at all. The most you tighten it, it still slides. Thankfully, there's a little safety thing, so no matter which way it does slide, it won't come off. But like, this is the system you want, the Ulanzi quick release and it it works this is you're not gonna throw a parade about how it works now let me just be honest about this head it's not my favorite thing it's very versatile and if your whole thing is like okay we want to do this oh man are you blown away by these shots look how smooth whoa oh man if you use their plate obviously it's gonna be solid on there but like okay that's a video head i get it you want to twist it to lock it in, boom. Very versatile. The only annoying thing is right now we're tilting up and down regularly, but sometimes this thing's twisted a little. What if you went that way, just a tiny touch? And now when you're tilting, you're off on this angle. It's just annoying to line up. It's like, where was that supposed to be? Right on the side, is there a thing? And it's also a ball head. So like that could not be straight either. It's just, I would much rather just have a simple ball head. You could obviously get one extra, but I don't know why they complicate things. Who's filming like this? It's a versatile head. Most videographers behind the scenes are gonna love it, but if you're just like setting up and then filming yourself in nature like you should be, it's a little overkill and actually kind of annoying to line up perfectly. 
And yes, for some reason, we're now allowed to be in vertical mode and it's so easy for your infomercials and your social media. Oh, we need this. Our clients want vertical video. Well, now you got a tripod to disappoint the entire world with. And there, you got your vertical shot. You don't have to move anything. Will it even stand up? I doubt it. Not on that lens. But in theory, it could stand with the plate. Honestly though, this is the lightest tripod I've ever seen. I'm sure some of you jabronis are down there. No, that's not the lightest one. Ben Frodo, bro, have you seen it? 600 grams, it'll blow away in the wind. So versatile just to get it back. There is a monopod on here somewhere. That was it actually, but it has one of those big heads. What are you gonna do with that thing? You could put this head on it, but it's not that tall. That's how tall your monopod is. They say you can put this extendy column on it. In theory, you screw that off and, okay. I don't feel like unscrewing that to even try it. I've seen it done. I'm not risking the finger pain from unscrewing that. Not right now. I can't afford that. So if you're looking for the lightest possible travel tripod, it's great. I love it and I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna use it. It's pretty good for even a table head sized, table head sized. You can have your talking head show on one of these and then pack it up on the road. I'm sticking with Ulanzi myself. I'll keep this in an area nearby in case I need it, but I just, I love that quick release. And I'm sure you could get a new Ulanzi head for this, but will you? But I love how solid it feels at being that lightest weight possible. Pretty damn good. They shrunk it down quite nice. Not many compromises. It could be so much smaller with a normal head. These panning freaks. It does come with an Apple AirPod attachment thing for those morons who fell for that thinking, oh, I'm protecting my gear. The government isn't tracking my every move. This is for my own protection. It's for my own safety, of course. And track my everyday life. I, just, I want you to know where I am at all times and all my stuff that I love. It's for your safety. So you could do that. Or the head itself does turn into a, no, not mine. It, yeah, it does, eventually. It's a phone clip thing. That's innovative. That, like, I like that. Compact a couple things into one thing. Now we're talking my language. Unfortunately, it has none of the things you would want a phone clip to do, like a hot shoe, a tripod screw somewhere. The only tripod screw is this thing. It's on the back. That ain't right, so it could use a lot of work in a pinch, I'll pinch your mom. So it's available through my affiliate links, not bad. I honestly, I'm just saying, Ulanzi, it's maybe more expensive. I don't even know the prices of these damn things. They change all the time. Your country could be different than mine. Can we all get along? If companies were just working together and you had the Ulanzi quick release head here, and then okay, I can use my whole system together and you're both making money, wow. Good for you, but no, we're all competitors against each other. So whatever, they're all good. I'm done here. I've reviewed it. Thank you. They did send it to me for free. I'm so sorry. And just final note on YouTubers who are sent free gear. It's not that you can't trust me because I was given this and so I'm here promoting it. I'm telling you the flaws. The problem with people like me who are given the stuff, we didn't do a bunch of research on which one we should buy first. So that guy is the one you should trust. He like hours went in and then he's like, okay, this is the one, this is the best one. It has all the features. I mean, well, links are down below. Subscribe for more videos. See you